Yeah, hi Savleen, Shubham this side. I'm from Medafin, and uh, uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on passing FRM Part One examination with us. A very hearty congratulations on behalf of the complete Medafin team, and we are really delighted. And uh, the best part is that you have qualified with the top quartile. So that's the best thing that has happened. So uh, before proceeding forward, before we carry forward our discussion, I would like you to introduce yourself to our viewers who will be watching this discussion. Yeah. So first of all, thank you, Shubham, for your heartiest congratulations. Yeah. So uh, as the viewers know, my name is Savleen Kaur and I currently work at JP Morgan Chase & Co. So I completed my bachelor's degree in economics from Delhi University. And then I went on to pursue my master's in international business economics and finance mm -hmm. from Oakley Institute of Politics and Economics in Pune. So while doing masters, I realized that I had a knack for, uh, you know, financial market products mm -hmm. and derivative market and quantitative techniques. So mm -hmm. that is why I chose to give my FRM uh, exam, wherein I secured first quartile in part mm -hmm. one. And uh, this job I secured from campus placement, and this is my first job. And currently I'm working under home lending strategic analytics team uh, mm -hmm. in CCB this screen. And uh, apart from that, my hobbies include photography, doing photography in my free time and playing mm -hmm. badminton. And oh, recently wow. I've also developed my, uh, you know, knowledge about Kathak dance form. So I'm doing that as well. <laughs> so you are really diversified, I must admit, like you do, uh, you have studied like your uh, academic background is quite diversified, quite nice. And then you have a lot of hobbies and recently you got knack for the Kathak. That's really great to hear about. So, uh, are you about to pursue any certification in Kathak also, like apart from FRM? <laughs> Do you have any plans? After completing my FRM certification, I may be... Okay, okay. So, there are plans, right? So, that's great. That's really great to hear. You see, uh, you chose FRM, right? You already had a very sound academic background, still you chose FRM. So what do you feel about the relevance of FRM examination? Like uh, how relevant FRM is in today's context? So this I understood very early in my career, like while working at JP Morgan Chase in the risk domain. So I understand that risk professionals are in huge demand during the session where yeah. everybody else is getting laid off. Like there are many layoffs happening during the mm -hmm. session, mm -hmm. but risk managers do not lose their importance. So that yeah. is why I chose RM certification because it keeps you very up to date with the knowledge, which yes. whatever is going in the market and they keep mm -hmm. updating this curriculum yeah. and FRM certification also so opens you know a plethora of you know opportunities for candidates you know you can apply in banks and financial institutions and i've also heard some banks require this as a prerequisite in their job yeah. description yeah, yeah so that is extremely relevant in today's market conditions so yeah you are right and in fact uh, the thing that you mentioned um, recently there were like huge layoffs from multiple organizations but if you have that skill set which is needed in the organization then they will never dare to lay you off right so yeah frm actually adds that uh, skill set into your uh, profile which uh, makes sure that you are in the industry you are competitive so yeah that was great to hear so maybe i can say that this was your motivation for pursuing frm or was there anything else or was there a mo few more things yeah, so apart from my academic capabilities, I think this was the foremost uh, motivation for uh, myself. And mm -hmm. I also want to keep myself updated with what is going on in the market. What are the new techniques coming up in the market for futures yeah. and options? Mm -hmm. uh, what roles and responsibilities I can serve as a FRM candidate or mm -hmm. as a financial manager in my career. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it also helps me in understanding my day-to-day -to -day, you know, work activities uh, yes. much better. Mm -hmm. So analyzing the risk, identifying, mitigating the risk, this is all a part of my job description, which yeah. is, you know, uh, which I learned very well during my FRM part one. Yeah. So you said really right. Uh, in fact, while you mentioned that uh, FRM is highly relevant and uh, yeah, it do actually e equips you with the tools and techniques that are actually used in the day to day life. Right. So in the day to day life of a financial analyst or financial risk manager. And that is the reason they keep on up updating this uh, uh, this content, their content regularly. Right. So uh, you were right about that. Now carrying forward our discussion, I would like to ask you about uh, your exam preparation. Sorry, about your uh, exam experience. Like how was it? How did you manage your time? What went right? What went wrong? What was the quality of questions that you saw? So if you can give some light on that, I think viewers will find it most useful. Yeah. 
so uh, giving the frm you know deciding from giving an frm part 1 and then you know actually achieving the desired result is a journey in itself yeah. so uh, you get to learn everything like time management patience critical thinking thinking out mm. of the box all these techniques you learn apart from mm. adding a certification yeah so um, i think frm part 1 questions were doable they mm-hmm. were uh, they were like the difficulty level was high at least for me but they were doable if you mm-hmm. involved the concepts at once so mm-hmm. there were some questions that you know required involving all the concepts at once and yeah. then you you know, get to choose the right option yeah. and also in fm part 1 there are four questions four options so yeah. two can be easily eliminated so that is the strategy all i feel all the candidates should follow Mm. two are easily eliminated and the other two you'll get confused about the other two so you need to pick out those one or two keywords that are you know incorrect in the mm. uh, question and then you uh, choose the right option so that is i think the best strategy that mm. a candidate should follow yeah. and apart from that uh, the time management in the exam is also very essential so you need to reach at the 100th question before the time ends so if you are if you get stuck in a question or it's taking you know 5 minutes or 6 mm-hmm. minutes in a question you don't need to you know uh, linger on to that question for such a long time you just move ahead uh, solve all the questions and then come back to the uh, revisit all the question that you had a doubt in so yeah. by so you will understand the difficulty level of the exam also and uh, you will get to you know visit the question at least once so 100th question reaching 100th question is very important okay okay well you are saying you are saying right i think the candidates will really find it helpful like the way you mentioned that there will be always two options that you can eliminate and there will be two which you will be like keep on lingering about that okay which of these two is correct so for that i think your uh, sound full proof uh, preparation was really helpful so uh, that you were able to identify those keywords right and about time management yeah one should really look forward to complete 100th question before time right that is really crucial and i think the candidates will find it highly useful now moving forward uh, you see you qualified exam you had a well planned strategy for your examination right and you got the top quartiles so what was your strategy which ensured that you got top quartiles can you please put some light on that about your preparation strategy okay so uh, first of all obtaining first quartile is not at all difficult in the exam it's completely yeah. doable if you are consistent with your approach and you are very eager to learn yeah. every subject is very interesting and if no subject is boring it's very relevant to the uh, to the current scenario that is going on yeah. in the financial market yeah. and for me the strategy was you know everybody has their own way of you know starting but yes. uh, what worked for me is i used to wake up in the morning two hours i used to study straight with a fresh mind and then my work timings are like i am a working professional so my work mm-hmm. timings are 1 pm to 10 pm i mm-hmm. used to head office after studying for 2 hours and then mm-hmm. after coming back i used to uh, you know practice numericals with my hand with a register and a paper, uh, pen and paper in my hand yeah. Yeah. and i used to practice all the numericals for 1 hour and 1 mm-hmm. hour i used to devote to revision this mm-hmm. was my consistent approach throughout the 5 months i never missed out on this approach and mm-hmm. uh, this is what is consistency right this yes yes this exactly and, and this is like yeah, yeah. Yeah, please carry for forward. Me, I'll I'll take it in the end. Don't worry. Yeah. So for mm-hmm. me, like this is hundred percent efforts, mm-hmm. and I put in my hundred percent efforts. I was very confident during the day of exam. I did not, uh, you know, form my opinions based on other candidates' opinions. Yes. I used my own experiences. I solved mm-hmm. all the sample papers, all the mock mm-hmm. papers. I did not mm-hmm. take any question paper lightly. I used mm-hmm. to analyze also after completing every mock paper. Yeah. So that is what is important. And I think Nidhafin also, you know, uh, uh, emphasized on these facts a lot. Yes, yes. So I would say that you said. extremely right like uh, you were extremely right when you mentioned that one should be consistent no matter how much time you are taking but if you are consistent with it then the end result will always be positive for you no matter how much time it takes and then the strategy that you mentioned like every day of course it can be difficult for some people but uh, the thing that you mentioned that you were studying it there you were going through the video lecture first then in the evening you were solving questions and then again revising the concepts that you have studied and you were consistent with it so that's 
actually tell us how disciplined you were so i think consistency discipline and like sticking to your uh, plan that you have put forward and these mini milestones that you bifurcated the complete uh, i would say complete curriculum into like every day target and like i'll complete this on this day and this on this day so that is really nice to hear about and i think uh, anyone like if someone follows this strategy then i i think what you mentioned is really doable like getting first quarterly in all the modules it's really not a tough job given that they follow the strategy that you have mentioned so it's really nice now uh, you see you prepared well and you mentioned that okay we also emphasize on few things so now i would ask a direct question to you related to this like how metafin has actually helped you in uh, in your frm journey in your in your frm part 1 journey if you can put some light on that so according to my experience like initially when i started studying in january so i thought i'll do self study and crack the exam because most of the frm part 1 topics were familiar to me but when i studied it in depth so i understood that this will require a tutor a proper guidance a proper study plan so i went with an approved ga provider medhapan so yeah. i did not refer to any of my friends or any of the previous you know material mm -hmm. but i went to to the provider hmm. so uh, while studying so i had uh, come across these extensive question banks sample papers um you know mock tests sectional yeah. tests so all these things are very important in an frm exam because it helps you practice and without yeah. practicing questions i believe nothing can happen in frm exactly, so that is exactly. so that is the thing that is most important which most of the tutors do not give they do not yeah. give sectional tests or previous year or uh, you mm -hmm. know sample paper yeah so that is what helped me with clearing uh, first quartile in fnm part 1 and mm -hmm. medafin i feel medafin material is extremely exhaustive if you practice each and every question by your hand Yeah. So it's extremely exhaustive, and there's no need to, you know. I did not feel any need to refer to other materials or other, you know, tutors' materials. Mm -hmm. It was really sufficient in obtaining the first quartile. So I'm really happy with the experience overall. Okay, well, I'm really grateful that you found uh, uh, Midafin uh, like an important tool in your FRM Part One preparation. And yes, that is what we persevere always. You see, uh, we take pride in our content, in our uh, support that we provide. So, ultimately, that has paid off, and re we are really happy uh, that you have passed examination, uh, like by being associated with us, along with being associated with us. So that's really nice to hear. And uh, uh, you see, a lot of candidates will be watching our discussion. They would really want to know that uh, what they should do. I know that. the people might have different backgrounds they have different approach they have different capabilities and all but still if there are some tips or uh, some uh, uh, strategies that you would like to some magic tricks that you want to give them so that they can also get first quartile in all the four uh, papers so what will be it can you uh, tell us a few yeah so uh first glance at the study material you will the most of the candidates think that okay i'll do book 1 book 2 book 3 in that order but mm -hmm. that is not actually the case the, all the chapters are so interlinked that you need to form a study plan you need to form you know what i did i took a sheet of paper and wrote all the subjects and all the chapters mm -hmm. and then i interlinked all the chapters and saw like which subject is aligning with which chapter so yeah. i think that that kind of study plan is important and medafin provides it Mm -hmm. so uh, and candidates you know often panic during their you know study that okay i'm not able to solve binomial trees i'm not able to get black scholes modern mm -hmm. model mm -hmm. but once you get into it once you are eager to learn the concepts the con concepts are actually very interesting mm -hmm. so no need to panic no need to stress out it's mm -hmm. actually a quartile system if you find that the exam is too difficult it's difficult for all the candidates yes. it doesn't matter. so it's a quartile based and you need to find your competitive in edge so for mm -hmm. example i uh, found my competitive in edge in de derivatives market options yeah. futures and quantitative techniques and i was not that good in fixed income securities debt market mm -hmm. etc so but i prepared to that level that i was confident enough i practiced fixed income thoroughly like the questions yeah. um and i was able to solve the questions it's like it's not a very you know tough job or um you know very stressful thing to do yeah but 
should feel confident that's all yeah so i think uh, we can all sum up like to this like eagerness to learn uh, the take away from you from your insights is that they should be eager to learn the panic that's the worst thing that a candidate should possess they should not panic and of course uh, like um, while talking to you all also like in the past when we were having all the conversations related to the exam or any doubt discussion i always saw that okay you were always calm and composed like you didn't panic you were the eagerness to learn that you mentioned was in you and it is very important if a topic is challenging then uh, you should go after it okay but like once you start getting involved in the concept you will understand it things are not too much difficult if it is in the curriculum then it can be understood right so uh, yeah i think that was great great insights that you have given and i think candidates will really find it helpful uh, who will be preparing in the future now uh, we are reaching to our conclusion for our discussion so there is one last thing that i would like to ask is um, what do you feel how what value has frm added in your uh, profile like what do you feel about it like once now now that you have passed it okay so uh, like according to me uh, i understand the financial concepts much well i'm much more updated mm. uh, my learning curve has become really steep otherwise i would have been in my job only doing my you know regular 8 hour job and then coming back home but frm yeah. certification really adds to my cv and really mm. adds to the way of thinking uh, yes. like as a candidate i can apply the knowledge in my daily you know investing activities in my yeah. financial activities financial planning etc and it also opens a range of you know opportunities for me now yeah. so that's the best part i think and the journey in itself is very beautiful it's very interesting so exactly uh, exactly and there is a proverb right the journey is more beautiful than the final result so yeah you are right that journey is in itself highly inspiring and yours is really uh, something to uh, take upon and something to think about yours is really nice that your dedication the consistency that you had it's really nice to hear and uh, one thing that you mentioned was really good uh, that uh, apart from adding value it actually helps you uh, to apply it like you feel the difference uh, in your understanding also about the different things that are happening in the market so it enhances your understanding and that was really great and that's the most important thing that frm certification should do in reality that it should enhance your understanding because once your understanding is enhanced it will automatically reflect in your work right so that's really nice now uh, i would really really uh, thank you uh, savleen to uh, give me some time to talk and to give your insights about your about your frm journey and uh, about your frm preparation i think the candidates who will be watching this video will really find it helpful and uh, once again a very hearty congratulations on passing a frm part 1 examination it was really nice talking to you i would really like to thank the entire team of nidafil and um, you know i'm aspiring for the frm part 2 so i'll be going with the nidafil team i have you know now blind trust in the yeah. uh, <laughs> Uh, you see, uh, you are right that you should go for for a farm part two with Madhavan, but uh, you should be always aware of that word blind trust. You should trust us; there is no doubt, but always be skeptical because that gives us an a scope for improvement, right? And th this has actually helped. Like your reviews, what you guys said in the past, like candidates like you have passed examination, they gave us feedback. We t continuously take feedback, be it positive or negative. We accept that, and working on that, we have improved ourselves so as to reach such a in a situation where we are able to deliver uh, what is required for a candidate right so i'm really delighted to uh, uh, have have you with us for frm part 2 as well so all the very best for your part 2 examination and thank you for your time once again sabli thank you shubham thank you for your time as well thank you